Hey, this is Nikhil from Microelectronics and this video is sponsored by Drona Aviation. Today I have a very awesome product to show you. So basically it's a DIY drone kit which is made by Indian company Drona Aviation. Out of the box you will find lot of information like build, fly and go. Actually it is a programmable drone. It means you can do lot of fun with this drone. On the right side of the box, they have mentioned a lot of information like warnings, its flight time and its weight. Drona Aviation is a IIT Bombay startup and manufacture made in India drones. So inside the box you will find a canopy, a screwdriver, four motors, a battery and a user guide. So guys, this drone can be programmed easily wirelessly. And you will find nothing more on the box. So now it's a time to open the box and show you the product. Guys, this is a 3D printed drone and it really has a good quality. So first you will find a canopy and a frame of the drone. It is a quite flexible and had a robust quality. So this is the main board that contain lot of things like motor driver, inbuilt charger and a main ESP8266 board to control the drone wirelessly. I find a very small box which contain 4 sets of propeller with A and B type and a screwdriver to mount the main board on the frame. Two propeller guards and four cordless motors. And a lithium ion battery with fitting 4.2 volts and 600 milliampere. I got the rookie pilot drone from the drone aviation. I really appreciate the Drona Aviation work. Their user manual is quite good and written in an easy way, so anyone can easily read it and operate their drone carefully. So inside the box you will find an SSID and password to connect it with the app. Now it's a time to make a drone. So here is the full tutorial of how to assemble Pluto X kit. Carefully mount the main board on the frame. And please make sure to use the small rubber buds while mounting the board on the frame. And gently screw the nuts on the frame. Now it's a time to settle the motor on the frame. So gently take one motor and mount it on the frame carefully. After mounting all the motors, make sure to use a propeller tool to give the right position to the motor on the frame.
now it's a time to use propeller on our drone so please make sure to use the propeller in this way So here is our rechargeable LiPo battery which we will use to run our drone. It is rated as 4.2 volt and 600 milliampere which will give us total flight time of 8 minutes. Now put the battery on the right side of the frame and give it a good connection with the main board. Gently press the motor wire and connect it to the right port. Now do same with all the motors along with their ports. For the testing purpose, I am going to power the drone. Hmm, it's working. Now put the canopy on the frame for its safety purpose. Oh, it looks like that our drone is ready to fly. Hmm, it also looks good. Hmm, it's a time for a flying test. So let's do it. 